Good day everyone. Welcome to the video lecture on the topic Guided Transmission Media in Computer Networks. And myself, Mrs. V. Vandana, Assistant Professor in Department of Computer Applications, SFR College for Women, Sivagasi. And the main objective of this video lecture is to describe the purpose and the classes of transmission media, to explain the features of guided transmission media and to analyze the advantages and disadvantages of guided transmission media and lastly to discuss the applications of guided transmission media. So before moving to the topic, let us uh, see some basic uh, components of data communication. So for every communication to occur in computer networks, we are in need of five important components. The first one is message that is communication means information sharing. So for the communication to exist, we need some message. And the next two important component is sender and receiver. Sender is the one who sends the message and the receiver is the one who receives the message. And then the most important component for communication is transmission media. So what is transmission media? So transmission media means it represents the physical path by which a message travels from one sender to receiver. So it is clearly described in the diagram. So in the left side sender exists and in the right side receiver exists. For the sender and receiver to communicate there, there is a need of transmission medium. In transmission medium there are two classes one is guided and another one is unguided. Guided transmission media means the transmission occurs through cable that is the physical network that is the network exists through cables and the unguided means the transmission occurs through app that is through signals. Then what is guided transmission media? As I already told guided transmission media utilizes cables or wires to transfer their data. So it acts as a physical link between the sender and the receiver. Popularly, there are uh, three guided media used to connect networks. They are as follows, that is a twisted pair cable, coaxial cable and fiber optic cable. Let us see deeply on twisted pair cable. First, the twisted pair cable is the most commonly used transmission medium. They are majority used to connect LAN and telephone lines. As we see in the diagram, a twisted pair consists of two conductors as the name contains twisted pair we are need uh, we uh, the twisted pair contains two conductors and the two conductors are normally copper wires and the two wires are uh, shielded with its own plastic insulation that is they are twisted together with the plastic insulation uh, this is clearly depicted in the diagram uh, in the pink color here there are two wires and the one wire is used for carrying signals and the another wire is used to ground reference. In the twisted pair cable too there are two types one is UTP and another one is STP. UTP means unshielded twisted pair cable and STP means shielded twisted pair cable. What is the difference between the two means? UTP means there is no meta shield around the wires as it is clearly described in the diagram the wires are covered only using the plastic cable there exists no meta shield around the wires so it is called as unshielded twisted pair cable. In UTP there are 5 categories category 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 each differs in their own data speed. First one the category 1 is used for low speed telephone data transmission. And the category 2 has a maximum bandwidth of 4 Mbps and the next the category 3 has a bandwidth of 16 Mbps and category 4 has a bandwidth of 20 Mbps. So each differ based in its speed only and the category 4 is mostly suitable for the uh, long distance communication and lastly among the 4 the category 5 has a maximum bandwidth of up to 200 Mbps. The advantages of uh, UTP are it is inexpensive and it is also simple to install, it is mostly suitable for high speed LAN networks. But the disadvantage is it, is, it can be used only for short distances because while, uh, while the signals travel to, uh, to the long distance through the UTP means the attenuation means nothing but a loss of signal. So depending upon the distance attenuation may occur. So it is suitable only for the short distances. And next we are move on to shielded twister pack cable. Uh, in the shielded twister pack cable there exists a metal foil or braided mesh 
around the twisted part. So, around the metal foil only the plastic uh, cover exists. So, that is why it is called as shielded twisted part cable. So, regarding advantages, STP installation is very simple and it is a large capacity than UTP and it has a higher rate of transmission. Regarding disadvantages, it is more costly than UTP as we know and also it is more costly than coaxial cable too and it has a greater rate of attenuation as I already said, attenuation means loss of signals so there exists the greater loss of signals. So, and then we, ne, next we move on to coaxial cable, coaxial cable which is also called as coax. It mainly carries signals of higher frequency ranges very well comparing to the twisted pair cable. So, it is widely used in analog telephone networks, digital telephone networks, cable TV networks and also to ethernet plan. So, in the figure I clearly depicted the coaxial cable. It consists of the core inner conductor inside. With the conductor there exists four layer of uh, coverage. So, the central core conductor is made of copper. Uh, it is exclusively used for communication. Around the copper wire there exists a insulating sheet and around that insulating sheet there exists a outer conductor which is made of metal foil or bright or combination of both. This is used as a shield against noise and it is also used as a second conductor too. Then it is surrounded by the outer conductor, it is surrounded by the insulating sheet uh, which is uh, in case surrounded by the plastic cover. It is the physical structure of the coaxial cable. So, regarding advantages, coaxial cable has high bandwidth and it is less prone to noise and is very very cheap to install uh, that is why it is used in cable TV networks and it is easy to install and upgrade to though there is advantage that is disadvantage means uh, if there is a failure of uh, cable exists then the whole networks may spoil. So, that is the disadvantage of coaxial cable. So, next we move on to the last guided transmission media fiber optics cable. So, fiber optic cable fiber optics cable is made of glass or plastics and it transmits signals in the form of light. So, it works on the principle of light reflection strategy. So, the light is reflected through a core or a core of plastic or glass and based on the reflection the data will be transmitted. So, as it is clearly depicted in the figure there exists a central core which is made of glass or plastic. The core is covered with cladding material this is also made of plastic and the cladding is covered with a coating and the coating is shielded by a strengthener and the strengthener is shielded by the outer jacket. So, the outer jacket is centrally made of plastic. So, as I already said cladding refers to the concentric layer of glass. The primary functionality of cladding is to produce a refractive index that is lower refractive index at the core which may cause reflection with the core. And because of that reflection only the light wave will be passed through the fiber. And the outer jacket it acts as a protective layer it is made of plastics. Uh, the main functionality of outer jacket is to retain fiber strength and to absorb stress and mainly to provide further fiber protection. Fiber optics cable is mainly used in backbone networks, local area networks and cable networks. So, uh, in the fiber optics cable the reflection strategy is used to transfer data through this channel. Uh, it is clearly depicted in the figure. Uh, so, inside the core the light signal gets reflected and based on the reflection only the data will be transmitted. We all know uh, if there is reflection means that will be the propagation modes. So, in the fiber optics cable there are two types of propagation modes. One is multi mode and another one is single mode. In multi mode itself there, are, there exists two types that is step index and graded index. Let us see deeply among uh, one by one. So, the first one is multi mode step index. So, in all the propagation modes what is the difference means the distance between the core and the cladding. That is uh, that if the distance is between the core and the cladding is less means that is the diameter between of the cladding and the core is less means then it is called a single mode. If the distance is more means then it is called as multi mode. So, if the in the multi mode step index fire the density of the core remains constant till the edges. But so a beam of light moves through the constant density in a straight line until it reaches the interface. So, while it reaches the interface it is called a step index that in the step index that exists a sudden changes in the transmission. So, that sudden change will lead to the distortion of the signal. So, it is a disadvantage of the multi mode step index. It can be uh, reduced in the multi mode graded index fiber. How it is reduced means here 
to avoid the distortion of the signal there exists a cable inside the cladding. So, because of the existence of the cable between the cladding and the core, uh, the distortion can be reduced. So, it is uh, clearly depicted in the graded index term. So, comparing to the multi mode, the signal mode strategy works best because I, uh, it is clearly depicted in the figure. Uh, the distance between the core and the cladding is very much minimum. So, if the distance is minimum means the signal will clearly transmitted to the, through the cable without any distraction. So, what we send means it will be received as such in the receiver. So, single mode fiber uses step index fiber and it is highly focused source of light and it is transmitted to a small range of angles. So, it is best, better than the multi mode fiber. In the multi mode step index difference between the source and the destination signal will be uh, much more uh, vary and in the multi mode with graded index the difference is uh, slightly differ, slightly changed uh, but in the single mode what we send inside is received as such in the outside. So, uh, regarding the advantages and disadvantages, uh, the advantage is the fiber optics cable as there is no metal it does not causes any rust and it does not corrode and it can also use it to transmit data at very high speed and it supports high bandwidth and there is a less signal attenuation. Regarding disadvantages, installation and maintenance is more difficult and the cable is also fragile and expensive. So, that is all about the guided transmission media. So, as a conclusion, uh, guided transmission can, media can be used for short distance. So, if the cabling connection is in short distance, if the network connection is in short distance, then guided transmission media can be a best choice. So, it can be used to send the signal that indicates the way it, uh, it uh, has to be traveled. It is unable to pass through walls and it is less expensive and easily available in the market too. Uh, guided transmission media is flexible and lightweight. It is very easy to set up and install and it also it provides high transmission speed. So, thanks for watching.